When the war started, I was 19 and I went to the front. Even at school, I was the most accurate among my peers and I was proud to have received the badge for a Shilovsky shooter. So I became a sniper. The very fact of the presence of snipers on the battlefield instills fear in the enemy. Distance for such a shooter does not matter. A good rifle has powerful optics and often the expression in the eyes of an unsuspecting person can be seen in the scope. It is hard to kill, but there was a war and I never had pity for the Nazis. It was clear that if we did not shoot, they would shoot us. I have 169 accurate hits on my account, but one day I did not shoot, and God gave me an amazing opportunity to face the consequences of this action. In the autumn of 1943, my division held the defence in the sector near the Belarusian village of Turkey Perivoz. That evening, mail was brought from the headquarters and a letter addressed to the bravest warrior fell into my hands. Such messages inspiring the soldiers often came to the front and this letter was from Valentina from Leningrad. She begged to avenge her parents killed by the Nazis. I was very moved by this letter and the next day I fulfilled the request, I killed several fascists. When the sun was already going down and the battle had almost subsided, some kind of revival began in the trenches of the enemy. I took the rifle and aimed. Near the dugout stood a tall, thin German. The lanky one is mine, I warned my comrades. Through the scope, I could clearly see his face, the bandage over his right eye and the scar on his cheek. Staggering, he carried the box towards the trench. Suddenly, he stopped and froze, dumbfounded and miserable. He saw his dead friends. An officer jumped out of hiding, knocked him off his feet and himself fell dead, hit by a bullet of one of my comrades. I could still make out his eyes and the scar on his cheek very clearly through the optics, but I could no longer see the marks on the scope. The dioptis floated and I took my finger off the trigger. Let him live. Many years later, in 1972, an exhibition of the GDR was held in Gorky Park in Moscow. So I went to see. Suddenly I noticed a German guide telling something to someone. A scar on his cheek, a motionless right eye, a familiar lanky figure. I could not believe my eyes. I approached him and we talked. Yes, in 1943 he fought in the same sector of the front as I did. Yes, he remembers that incident. Back then, still not having recovered from his wound, he brought cartridges to the machine gun and heard a loud warning that there were snipers nearby. But he was confused and remained standing until he was knocked down. Soon he was commissioned and sent home. Three months after this meeting, I received a letter from Germany with a photograph. In the photo was the same soldier, his wife and three daughters, the spitting images of their father. And on the reverse side, there was an inscription. Dear friend, look at the photograph. These wonderful children might not have come to this world if you had not shown mercy at the front, saving the life of our dear father and husband. We are very obliged to you. Please, come visit us. I never wrote a reply, just couldn't find the words. Moreover, the times for correspondence with foreigners were not the best. But with all my heart, I then felt the meaning of the commandment, Thou shalt not kill. And I remember the lines of my favourite poet, Alexander Bloch. 